first thing you should do in the kitchen is always wash your hands. Warm, soapy water, put some soap on your hands, rub them, and hand washing should be done several times. Wash your hands after you handle a raw turkey and also before you handle the cooked turkey. So if you have a frozen turkey, you need to thaw it out first. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to put it on a tray, such as something like this or a cookie sheet, as long as it's got a lip on it so it catches any of the drips as it's thawing, and put it in the refrigerator. Now this is about a 13 pound turkey and it's gonna take about three to four days. It's a good idea to preheat your oven while you're getting the turkey ready and putting it into the roaster. The minimum temperature that you should use is 325 degrees. Turkey is thawed, and I'm gonna put it in a clean sink because there's gonna be a lot of um, extra juice that comes out of this, and we just take the plastic wrap off. This has a package of gravy in it. You want to pull that out and save that for later when you're ready to make your gravy. And also inside of here is the neck. Pull him out. And then on the other end is where the giblet package is. Right there, and pull that out. And save that because you can use that in making your stuffing. And then you're ready to uh, turn him back over. Aromatics can actually just fit right down in the cavity like this. Got some onion, put some orange and lemon in there. And then I've also got some herbs. You can also put them underneath the skin if you so choose. That'll add some extra flavor to the, to the breast meat also. And then I like to put either some olive oil or some butter on top of it just to help the uh, skin to brown a little bit. Rub that on. If you want to add any salt and pepper, you can absolutely do that too. Many ways to add lots of flavor to your turkey. This is a temperature probe that will stay in with the turkey the entire cooking time. And you want to insert it into a meaty spot. Try not to hit a bone. Uh, that way it gets a true temperature of the actual meat of the turkey. And then we're ready to put the uh, and, and it's ready on. to go in the oven. It's ready to go in the oven. So our oven is preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. To center it in the oven, put it in the middle rack. So a minimum of 165 degrees Fahrenheit is what we're looking for. and we're good to go. So we're gonna cover him and let him rest for at least 20 minutes and it'll stay good and hot. As you can see, he's, he's pretty well done. Um, the uh, wings are falling apart on it. Obviously, you could put it on a serving plate, but at this point, we can go ahead and start slicing it up. You have leftovers, you're going to want to put your leftovers into a smaller pan, about two inch depth. Take the meat all off the bones and then put it in the refrigerator and save it for one or two days. Or you can freeze it. And our best wishes to all of you and to have a happy Thanksgiving.